All right, here we are. It's March 13th. I just opened up the hive. I put these boxes of dried sugar in here as kind of an insurance policy. I don't normally feed my bees, but um, this acts as a backup food source in the winter. It also acts to, to um, catch the condensate as, uh, as the bees are warmer than the outside temperature, moisture develops on the lid and drips back down and often the moisture is what ends up killing your bees in these more northern climates. Um, so the sugar, you can see where it dripped down in there. It kind of helps to deal with that. So anyway, <clears throat> I'm not going to go far in here. It's only about 57 degrees today for the high and it's sunny. It's supposed to rain the next couple of days but these bees are flying. And so I really wanted to um, get in here and just make sure they had enough room. Uh, I'm hoping to start doing some splits in the next couple of weeks. We're still getting right around freezing temperatures at night. So it's still pretty cold. Um, it's March 13th, 2022 and uh, Eastern Washington, um, about 46 degrees North is where we're located. So anyway, just wanted to give everybody a quick update like I say, I'm not gonna get down in there deep because one, I don't wanna get lit up by the bees and don't wanna disturb them, but they have plenty of room for honey stores. Thinking about taking some of the sugar out of here um, to encourage them to go forage because fruit trees, buds are starting to swell. And I think in the next few weeks, we're gonna have the big blooms and we're right here in orchard country. We've got hundreds of acres of cherries and apples and uh, a lot of that stuff right around us so anyway um, that's it for today and i'll keep you guys posted on what's happening